want you to imagine a world where all our ecosystems are healthy. Species are living gleefully together. We all hold hands and live happily forever. However, the reality of our situation is that we are destroying our wildlife. We're constantly responsible for widespread environmental degradation. For instance, the plastic that we throw away. Have you ever wondered where it all ends up? It ends up here, 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 and here. Now, what does this mean for the ecosystems? Dumping plastic at this scale is practically synonymous with habitat destruction. And habitat destruction is the number one cause of the loss of biodiversity. If we look, looking at the origins of biodiversity, habitat diversity is the foundation of speciation and it creates a gene pool linking back to our destructive habits. If we destroy the habitats, we destroy ecosystems as a whole. Now, for humans, destroying ecosystems is not going to make us all change the way we live. So how does this impact, how does our destruction impact us? I believe that to address this issue, we have to look at a paradox that we have created. So first, the earth has its natural, its natural resources. And our habits, like using plastic so constantly, we end up degrading the environment. And we end up exploiting the environment to the extent that we can't use it anymore. And this is why our reliance on natural resources is also our biggest weakness. Now, I want you to imagine a world which is all bleak and all dreary, plucked straight out of a dystopian novel. Blankets of smog to keep us warm in the extreme weather because climate change is a thing. And islands of plastics will form, creating new, dirty, and destructive ecosystems of waste. Now, I have a confession. These aren't pictures of our future, but they're a representation of our present state. Our destructive habits will only further augment this wide-scale destruction. How many rainforests will have to be cleared? How many more people will have to suffer? How much more destruction will the Earth have to endure for us to finally realize our impact? Now, I want to propose a solution that each and every one of you can do. I want you to replace all of these plastic bottles with just the one plastic bottle. By doing this, we can significantly, significantly reduce the amount of plastic that we use. For instance, if 1,000 students attend a sports event and we all buy three plastic bottles of water, in one day, we consume and throw away over 3,000 bottles of water. In Mombasa, if 1.2 million people use and throw away a plastic bottle every day for an entire year, that accumulates to over 438 million bottles of water which are being thrown away each year. So, simply put, there are two solutions that we can do. First is to buy your own water bottle, so that, oops, to buy your own water bottle and use it consistently for an entire year, or we can recycle the bottles that we already have. Now, if we can do these two simple things, we can significantly reduce the amount of plastic that we throw away. So if there's one thing I want you to take away from this talk, is to get up and go buy yourself your own water bottle to save the world. Thank you.